Hey dolls, welcome back to Sharon's Nail Boutique. So this is the set that I did using white lace, color acrylic, all types of glitters. That is my palette right there. You can see I already glued the lace on, the middle fingers, and I start here with my first impressions by Glam & Glitz Naked Color Acrylic Collection. And then I will go in with a little bit more. And above that, I go in with Shrut and then I believe Vanessa. And I go in with an iridescent extra fine glitter over the top. And that one, I believe, I used the mermaid glitter that I got from Deborah Sweeney. Either that or I used my silver tenant glitter extra fine from Lolo Rose. So I'm using, did I go in with Shrut or Vanessa first? It might be, I believe that's Shrut. Or wave it might be wave I think I used wave and Vanessa or strut and Vanessa okay so that was Vanessa or wave and then I go in with strut on the top so that baby blue is on the top part as you can see from the side that's how your structure should be built ladies that's how it should look from your profile view thin, flush at the cuticle, come up ever so slightly, and then back out. I'm just adding a little more where it was kind of translucent up at that top cuticle area. And then I will move on to doing the glitter over the nail. Now you see how I have like my palette of glitters there, everything I'm using. That's pretty much what I've decided to start doing. I will basically take pictures of the before and after nails and I will show shots of my palette of glitters or acrylics that I'm using at that moment or materials whatever and I just bought a bunch more lace and a bunch of different colors mints purples baby blues reds uh, I'll show you guys in another video but after I'm done with the glitter making sure that there's glitter everywhere I will come in later and cap everything because you know awesome. we want to protect that design that we worked hard on so with this one I just add like iridescent like glitters and stuff around it just to kind of like add dimension to the lace you know what I mean you don't want to fully cover it because then you won't be able to see that it's lace or what's going on there but just make sure that you're mindful of you know where the lace is and what parts you want to show what parts you don't want to show you know so just keep that all in mind ladies when you're doing your nails and gentlemen i know on the next finger i believe i go in with another ombre or something like that i think a three tone or a two tone and then on the thumb itself i go in with acrylic and glitter I mean, there's not much I could I got these new glitters from Recollections and Martha Stewart so I've been using a lot of those lately as well and these sets take time ladies don't think that oh you know I'm a beginner I'm a beginner that's why it's taking long for me no because my sets still take anywhere from two to three and a half hours and I've been doing nails for years so don't get discouraged do not get down on yourself because it happens you know it takes time these encapsulated nails take a long time to do because you want to make sure that they're perfect you want to make sure that everything is laid right because if it's not then you're going to have a very difficult time encapsulating them and shaping and filing them so just keep that all in mind ladies and gentlemen so on the ring finger i believe i go in on this one with a full nail of vanessa either that or I fade it down and then I bring glitter up from the free edge I think that is what I did so yeah I'm using Vanessa up at that cuticle area and then I'll come in with the glitter that I got from Recollections and it's called Sugar Cube and it's a multi-mix very pretty it looked really really good on that I'm glad I chose to do that on that nail and she loved love 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 loved her nails she still does 
The set I did on her before these ones were the Marilyn Monroe nails. And I'll have a shot of the before and after for you guys as well. So I'm hoping that, you know, everybody here is loving my new videos. I'm hoping that people are subscribing and sharing so we could get up to a thousand quicker, guys, and get this giveaway up and going. So this is the ombre that I did on the pointer finger. And I used Glam and Glitz Strut from the Naked color acrylic collection and then I went over over the top of it with my makeup pink by Enel Couture Max Estrada and that has like shimmer 1mm hexes in it I really like how it turned out with the makeup pink over the top of it oh no this isn't the makeup pink this is first impressions okay so i went over the top with glam and glitz naked color color collection first impression so come here i forgot about that i'm sorry ladies it was my other set that i did where i used the makeup pink over the ombre still very pretty though so i just grab a little more making sure that my apex and everything is there slightly so that when i come into cap i don't have to put too too much just put a little more of the strut at the free edge just to make sure that it's visible and then I'll move on to the thumb and I believe I did a full and doing like a S swoop of the glitter I think it's muffled, the, muffled. is that the stars yeah I'm doing some stars like up in like a S swoop up the nail I thought that was so cute because it, it turned out like really different looking you know and she loved how they looked, so that's all that mattered to me in the end. And the next hand, guys, is pretty much the same thing as as I did on this hand. I just kind of switched it around a little bit, but same color palette, same glitters, same idea. I'm going to leave you guys to watch it without me talking in it. So I kind of just went up in like a half of an S swoop with those stars, the iridescent stars. I, I don't know why I doubt you. Because <laughs> I have this dress that are these colors. Really? Yeah. It's and a, then it's the thumb little, will be the yeah. full oh, that's cool. I'm just, I'm cool. color of straw, yeah. I believe. Yeah. Or it might be a three-tone ombre and I think I might have just like switched up the color order. So straw at the free edge, then Vanessa, and then first impressions. So I'll just add a little more, making sure like that it's opaque in that area. And then I'll take my Vanessa, or nope, I go in with first impressions. And then I'll go in with Vanessa on the top part. These colors blend so well together. I'm gonna add a little more of the first impressions. Then I'll go in with Vanessa up at that top area. Now, I think it's, Van I'm pretty sure it's Vanessa, but it, it might be Wave. The way the color is looking to me, I think I might have actually used my color Wave by Glam and Glitz, which is part of their color collection. And I think I add a little more of the straw. Yep. And then I'll go in again with that extra fine glitter and just add like a coat of that rainbow iridescent extra fine glitter. And you see how I'm shifting my brush to the side when I get on those side walls? That's what you need to be doing so that you're not getting the structure built wrong. You need to turn your brush to the side so that it's building it properly and so that they're flush on the side walls so that they're flush at the cuticle area you know what i mean so you don't want a big blocky nail when it's supposed to be stiletto <laughs> so moving on to the next hands and i will let you guys take over from here again this is sharon's nail boutique so if you're new here don't forget to subscribe and hit that like and share button and i will see you ladies in my next one bye dolls Pink or blue? Um, pink? Yeah. That is. There's a lot of blue going on. Yeah. And do you want the glitter
on us. Okay. Okay. These are pretty to use in the winter, the snowflakes, mm -hmm. a shift. Yeah, yeah. I could even make like a, like a, you know the bulbs that hang on the tree? Oh. I can make a bulb like that on your nail with a snowflake in it, encase it in clear acrylic and fill it around the color. And it looks pretty shave it down, uh -huh. you see the bulb reveal itself, and then I draw like a hook with a bow, oh, and no. it looks like it's dangling. Oh, wow. I can do the icicles dripping mm -hmm. from the nail, all that. And then I would do it with gel and then sprinkle that over it, mm -hmm. and it looks like, like it's a yeah. yeah. It looks That's like that, but with icicles. Yeah. Because gets every it's, time. It's experience and practicing. I'm just very happy with how far I've gone. Yeah. I could just so notice the, different, mm -hmm. the difference in it. I remember like being so frustrated at one point that I just could not get up here. Right? And once I started like applying it like math, uh -huh. it got easier. Yeah. And the encapsulated nails are the trickiest, especially when you're using like chunky glitters and stuff. Yes, it moves, right? Yeah, it moves, and it's harder to, to cap the chunkier ones because of how big they are. Yeah. You have to lay everything perfectly and flat, so you don't have like, a huge, bulky ass yep. nail. Yep. Not only that, but you want to make sure with your glass tips that there's no air bubbles mm -hmm. and stuff like that because that's not something you want to see. Yep.
Oh yeah. No, I dropped the um thing on top of it. No, they're pretty good clothes. from the smell mm -hmm. eats through plastic it? oh yeah i found that out by accident um i had my liquid in a jar mm -hmm. and i had used it on a set so i had there was probably some probably floating around the liquid you know because after you're done all the stuff that in the bottom from the brush mm -hmm. is basically the powder and just okay. over time it thickens it and i had it in the container the next day i come in and the fumes from the acrylic liquid eat through the plastic lid mm -hmm. like literally burnt holes in it to where it was melting mm -hmm. that's strong that's wrong okay. yeah, that's why i'm very careful not to get it on the skin and right. stuff like that because obviously over time you get contact dermatitis and you can develop an allergy to it. Mm. I see people wipe their brush all over their client's skin and shit. I hate that. Mm. Like, to clean around it, they go like that. Yeah. Wipe the whole fucking finger. Yeah. And this bitch is teaching other people how to do that. <laughs> Why leave a comment? Mm. I'm like, you got a lot of nerve knowing what we learn in school and by teachers. That's one of the first things they teach you mm. is to never come into contact with the skin right. with these chemicals. And if you do, to wipe them off right, right away. Right. So the fact that you're teaching other people the wrong things, that, that pisses me off. Mm. Because no one's really know. No, and, and for someone like me that learns from people online, I know I learn the right way. However, some people don't know that. Mm -hmm. Not everyone is like me where they, you know, they can see people are lying or can tell judge a character. Not everyone is going to have that intuition. Some people are just going to trust what you say mm -hmm. because they're used to trusting people. Yep, yep, yep. I remember when I used to be like, I give everybody the benefit of the doubt. I still am like that sometimes, but at some point you got to stop being the doorstop. Yep, that's people. true. Uh, mm -hmm. Hey, Tara. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's crazy. Mm -hmm. And then instead of taking the constructive criticism, don't you talk shit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, she's actually got people thinking that's the right way to do nails. Mm -hmm. All I ask is that you teach people the right way. That's not a whole lot to ask for. <laughs> Stop acting like these tutorials. They're not even the right way to do nails. <laughs> You're wiping that shit all over people's hands and mm -hmm. just, oh my god, if you saw it, it wouldn't need to cringe. Mm -hmm. The way she goes in with the natural sanding man on the natural nails, that shit, oh my god. I just can imagine how thin her client's nails are. Wow. I mean, acrylic in itself eats at the nail plate on its own. So the fact that you're going in with this machine and making your client's nails thinner, mm -hmm. on top of what they already have to go through from the acrylic, right. you're fucked up. Mm -hmm. You're fucking rushing. That's the problem. Yep, that's what they do. Hopefully this will um, have your sister come in. Seeing your new nails. Yep. That's how it happened last time. <laughs> She's like, once I seen Shanta's nails, I knew I had to come get mine done. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have to have my nails in because my hands are too big. Oh, right. mm. tall, though. I'm not really that tall. For a girl, you are? I'm only 5'4. Really? Yes. I know. You seem like you're like I my height, though. A lot of people say that. I know. I'm 5'7. Like 5'7. Yeah, I know. I just seem so much taller. Yeah. I'm 5'4. Not the oldest one, but the next one. Mm -hmm. The next oldest one. Mm -hmm. The blonde. Yeah, she's sweet. Mm -hmm. Her feet are size 11 and women. Oh, wow. Yeah. And she was a premium. Oh, wow. She was born to four pounds. Yeah, my mom is little, though. My mom's like five feet. Really? Mm -hmm. My sister gets that from her dad's side. Right. The oldest side. I actually like this one. Yeah, I know. It's not nice. Mm -hmm. 